a day in the life of a fifth grade teacher. And I have my mermaid mask today. I went to say hi to Corner Gym and turned on my lights on my board. They're little rainbows. Oh my gosh, this is the best website ever to put morning routines on the board. I filmed some TikToks on my prep today, but you're gonna have to come back later to see those. Guys, I know, I'm so weird. <laughs> and of course, I had to eliminate all the evidence before my students got back from specials. Shh, it'll be our little secret. Then I was checking my daily check-ins and someone said I should be verified on TikTok. <laughs> that made my day. I put away all my new hand sanitizers and look guys, I even got a dinosaur hand sanitizer holder and an alien spaceship and it lights up. How cool is that? I worked on my lesson plans for next week and I totally brought some Buckeyes to school. And I had all of these bouncy bands donated to my classroom so I put one on each of my students' chairs so they could enjoy it during class. I also had this beautiful magnetic calendar donated. See you tomorrow. A day in the life of a fifth grade teacher. Started off the day by getting into my classroom and unpacking all of my things. And Jordan even got me this really awesome sticker for my water bottle. I didn't feel like packing my lunch today, so I just grabbed whatever was in the freezer. <laughs> Turned on my board for my kids when they arrived. Nothing says a long weekend like balloons. I typed up my message to my students and gave them their morning routine. And then I decided to do this weird twirly thing. <laughs> While I was working on my computer, I had Pandora playing, and apparently Alvin and the Chipmunks sang single ladies at some point. And then I spilled Diet Coke on myself and my floor when I was dancing. <laughs> I was really stressed out at lunch, so I just put my head down for a little bit. And then I got over it, and I watched some more Moana while I ate. I wrote our new announcement on my whiteboard, and it's all about how my students are going to choose their library books next week. I know I'm such an artist. Day in the life of a fifth grade teacher. <laughs> Didn't Tater Tot look so cute this morning? Walked in school and got my temperature checked. Good to go. And I went and unpacked all of my things from my backpack. Wow, I look so miserable. <laughs> I always bring a sweater to work and then I end up never wearing it. I picked Nemo for my background today. Then I wrote my students' names on these bookmarks so they could use them during silent reading time. I did a lot of lesson planning. And then I did a happy dance while I ate my lunch. Oh, and my coworker got me this little mask holder that goes around your neck. It's so convenient. Then I got all of my read alouds ready for the next week of school. If I don't stay organized, I go crazy. I put some sanitizer on my students' desks and wiped them all down. Then I went back to my desk to work, but I kept hearing this annoying sound. And it turns out it was just the water dripping from the faucet. And off. There we go. <laughs> I put away my read aloud from today. And then it was time to go home. See you tomorrow. A day in the life of a fifth grade teacher. I had such a crazy morning, I couldn't even film. But I finally got back to my room and then I realized I had to put my mask back on because I forgot to grab my copies from the printer. I was printing out these awesome 9-11 coloring sheets for my students. On the way down, I saw this awesome bulletin board that the school had put up. And look, I'm Horton the elephant. I had to call the tech guy to help me with the printer. And then we finally got them printed, so I did a happy dance. After that, I wrote all of my goals for my students for the next week. Next week, we're focusing on making inferences in a fictional text. I love the books that we're gonna read. I put away all of my student reading files for the new students I have this year. I always feel way better when I'm nice and organized. Then on my lunch break, I started to work on my guided reading levels so I could group my kids. I filled out my calendar for when the remote students would come in to do their testing, organized my guided reading binder, and looked through some old lesson plans. Then it was time to go home, so I turned off my lights, gave Corner Gym a hug, and then I left for the weekend. Bye! A day in the life of a fifth grade teacher. Happy Monday! I got to my classroom and my poster fell off the wall, so I had to fix that. Then I got all of my procedures ready for the morning for my students when they arrived. And our random screen of the day is... These cool rocks in the ocean. <laughs> I put my lunch away in my mini fridge. Check. And of course I had to visit my BFF, Jenna! Hey girl! I hung up all of the awesome artwork my students had colored for me. I love putting all their artwork up on my closet doors. I got pretty hungry while I was waiting for my kids to be done with band, so I got a granola bar and jammed out to some Pandora. I was looking through my daily check-ins, and I love some of the things my students share with me. Someone's birthday was in four days, the other one made sloppy joes, it was the best. Today my students were testing, so while they were taking their test, I was grading some of their readers' notebooks. They did so great on them, guys. Finally, I got cleaned up, turned off my lights, and it was time to go home. See you tomorrow. A day in the life of a fifth grade teacher. Hi guys. 
I started off by putting my lunch in my fridge and then of course I had to restock on some blue Gatorade and some Diet Coke because we all know it's my favorite. Check. And today's random screen is this colorful bird. Here's a shot of me being really weird and eating a sandwich and then failing. Then while my kids were at band, I filmed my question video of the day. So look out for that a little bit later. I had a Google Meet with my remote students today, and I was so excited because we got to look back in a book that we read together. And the majority of them had gotten new puppies, so we officially named it Puppy Week. Ooh, I grabbed a knife instead of a spoon this morning for yogurt. Guys, my room was so quiet for lunch today. It was nice and calm. Then I grabbed all my colorful paper and I headed to the printer to get some stuff printed for my bulletin board I'd be putting up next week. This thing saves so much time cutting out things. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I ended the day with a Twix because we got these awesome gifts in our mailbox. See you tomorrow.